Welcome to the Cranston High School East Library. The library is open every day from 7.30 in the morning until 2.15 in the afternoon. Just open the door and come right in. If the stop signs are on the doors, it means the library is closed and you will have to come back later. You can come to the library before school, after school, or during the school day if you have a pass from your teacher. Please remember to sign in and leave your pass on the desk. Now let's look at the different parts of the library. First is the fiction section. The fiction books are the make-believe stories. They are put in order by the author's last name. For example, if you wanted to find a book by Angie Thomas, you would look in the fiction section under T. The fiction books start on the wall of the 246 classroom and continue around the outer edge of the library. Next comes nonfiction. The nonfiction books contain true information and are arranged by number. For example, science books are found in the 500s. History books are in the 900s and sports books are in the 700s. Biographies are found on the Park Avenue wall of the library and they are labeled with orange signs. Biographies contain true information about famous people. They are put in order by the last name of the person about whom the book is written. Graphic novels are very popular. They are on the low shelves at the end of the fiction section. We have so many great manga books. At the end of the fiction section, you will find the series books. In the series section, you will find favorite choices such as the Blueford High books. The library also subscribes to several magazines. New magazines stay in the library. Older magazines can be found in the red files near the biography section, and they can be borrowed. Here's the reference section. This section has many great informational books for research projects. All of the books in the library have their own place on the shelf. If you take a book off the shelf, please be sure to put it back in the right place. If you're not sure where it goes, just give it to Mrs. Blaze to put back. Now let's look at the library computers. You can use the computers for typing, research, or other schoolwork. The computers behind the circulation desk are connected to the printer. Please plan ahead so that you do not have to leave class to print. Now let's talk about borrowing library items. Students can borrow up to three books at a time and keep them for four weeks. Just bring your books up to the circulation desk and I will check them out for you. Remember to stamp the due date in the back of your book. When you're done with your books, just drop them into the slot labeled Return Books Here. Be sure to return your books on time or renew them if you need more time. You can ask Mrs. Blaze to renew your books or you can renew them yourself online. The library website is packed with interesting information. Let's take a look at some of the useful things you can find there. Use the Destiny search box to search for library books or place interlibrary loan requests. On the eBooks tab, Sora and Teen Book Cloud are just some of the many places you can go to get free eBooks. You can look at the CHSE reading blog to get ideas for books that you might like to read. 
And if you send Mrs. Blaze a book review that you wrote yourself, you will earn community service hours. Head to tutor.com after school any day to get free homework help in any subject area. You can follow the library on social media to stay up to date on news and library events.